Executive Director of Information Niagara, and she'll speak a little bit about how 211 actually operates. Honorable Minister John Malloy, Chairman Ken Seelen, honored guests, friends, and colleagues, it is my pleasure today to bring greetings to the region of Waterloo on behalf of Information Niagara. Information Niagara has a 30 year uh, history of providing information and referral to the residents of Niagara. Our board and staff were one of the first in Ontario after Toronto to embrace 211. And since November 2005, we have been part of the 211 system in Ontario, delivering 211 to the residents of Niagara, most recently to the city of Hamilton, and today the region of Waterloo. Today, when residents of the Waterloo region do not know where to turn for help, they can dial 211. 211 is a free, all calls are confidential, and our trained specialists will give you the information and programs and services that best meet your needs. 211 has information on thousands of community social services, from child care to home care to emergency shelters in every part of the province, including the region of Waterloo. Anyone can call 211. We are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The phone line is available in more than 170 languages through a third-party interpreter service. As mentioned um, by speakers prior to myself, the 211 phone line provides much-needed human touch, helping you navigate that sometimes impersonal and often confusing so social service system of Ontario. At 211, you will speak to an actual person, and that person will be caring, understanding, and knowledgeable. Our staff do everything in their power to find the right services to help you. There are no shortage of services in the province and in the region of Waterloo, but it is difficult to know where to begin when you need answers. With 211, the answers you need are only a phone call away or a click of a mouse away. The information the 211 staff will be using to respond to the call comes from the Social Planning Council of Kitchener-Waterloo, the Community Information Centre of Waterloo Region, and the Social Planning Council of Cambridge and North Dumfries. And we thank these two organizations for their um, work with us in 211. I'd also like to thank the staff of the Region of Waterloo and the United Ways for embracing 211 for welcoming me and 211 into this community and for working so diligently over the past years to ensure that residents get this needed service. I'm confident that residents of the region will receive the same award-winning service from our trained and certified information and referral specialists as those in the Niagara region and the city of Hamilton. We look forward to serving you, being part of your community, and thank you for giving us the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Rosanna. Now I'd like to introduce the Honorable John Malloy, MVP Kitchener Center, and we'll say a few words about the benefits of 211 to Ontarians, and then he'll make the inaugural call. Good morning, everyone, and absolutely delighted to be here today for uh, the kickoff of, of 211. As you've heard, this is going to be an amazing service for the residents of Waterloo Region. It also, I think, addresses something else. Uh, you know, those of us who are, are in politics, we're fighting all the time this sort of stereotype the stereotype that government by its very nature needs to be complicated. There's something about government that we can't break down barriers and we can't do things simply. I think that's uh, uh, especially true when you're talking about people who are in vulnerable situations and crisis situations who see government as this great thing out there that it's very hard to access, it's very hard to get a hold of. I've been proud that our government has tried to uh, turn around that view. Uh, things like Service Ontario, we're bringing together essential Ontario services uh, in one location. Things like even birth certificates, where we did something crazy, uh, like Leon's or the Brick, we've offered a money back guarantee if you don't get your birth certificate 
in uh, 15 days. We've also looked at this whole relationship issue when it comes to the vulnerable. I've had the privilege of being part of the province's anti-poverty committee, and we realized that if we can strengthen or even establish, in many cases, a relationship between those in need, those who are in a vulnerable situation in the government, that that, in fact, can divert them away from things like emergency rooms and expensive government services. It can create uh, situations where small problems don't get bigger, where big problems don't get even larger. So 211, of course, is about both those conversations. It's about breaking down all those barriers and silos and confusion for all of us, but it's especially about uh, those that are the most vulnerable, helping them establish a new relationship with government. Uh, I've been very, very pleased uh, to have been part of the discussions both at Queen's Park and here in our community of uh, moving forward with uh, 211. Its origins in terms of the government, as Bill said, goes back to uh, the Trillium Foundation a number of years ago. In 2006, we had a further announcement where uh, we announced $4.4 million for a partnership with the United Way to begin to uh, develop this system in terms of startup costs and website costs. The 2008 budget contained a further investment of $13.5 million over four years to expand the system. And I've got to tell you, we're nearly there, folks. We're at 83% uh, with today's announcement of the province from the Eagle Access 211. And by the end of the year, it'll be 100%. And then tied into the poverty reduction strategy itself was a commitment for ongoing base funding of $4 million a year to uh, help support the 211 initiative in partnership with the United Way and the municipality. So I think this is a wonderful story. It's a wonderful story about citizens and government coming together, breaking down those barriers, breaking down those obstacles, and providing particularly those that are the most vulnerable with a lot of support. So uh, uh, once again, congratulations to the United Way. Congratulations to uh, the municipalities, uh, all the partners, and all the agencies who will be part of the 211X uh, uh, whole network and have, of course, calls referred to them. So I'm a lucky guy. Instead of cutting the ribbon, we're going we're to make the first call. And uh, they gave me a script, which I won't read. But uh, if I could, it would be very funny. But uh, and we're going to do it. Two one one. <laughs> for Kitchener Center. We're here at the launch of 211. Hi there. Hi there. And I have a question. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, calling on behalf of a constituent who's new to the area and they've just moved in from quite a distance and they don't have a family doctor. Mm -hmm. So we're looking okay. for some uh, advice. Okay. Uh, there are a number of options for a resident in the Kitchener area. Uh, first, she may want to call the Ministry of Health and Long-Term Care.